<laughs> Swamp Thing. Gonna stay on the DC train for now. I'm excited for Swamp Thing. I loved in uh, Werewolf by Night when we got Man Thing. Mm-hmm. Which is not Swamp Thing at all. They're very different. But I love Swamp Thing. I love the idea of Swamp Thing. He was a one-off character in the 70s and then was resurrected because the fans loved him. And his, I think his origin story was changed a little bit, Andrew, in that he was a, a man who turned into a monster. But now it was more about his conscious being submerged with the swamp and what is consciousness and what is it to be a person and things of that nature. Uh, James Mangold is writing and directing the film. He officially announced it at Star Wars Celebration this weekend. Collider asked him and he said, there's your scoop. I am doing it. Uh, they did ask him what he was going to do first, and he said he did not know if he was going to do Star Wars or Swamp Thing first, which tells me neither one of them will get done. Uh, James Gunn confirmed the news also on Twitter. I'm excited for Swamp Thing. I think they could do a lot with it. I think it's going to be deep. I don't know my concern with it, Andrew. I know you have a question about it, but my concern with Swamp Thing, honestly, is are we at a point where people are going to want to go and see Swamp Thing? Whatever it comes out, 2026, 2027, whatever, are people interested in Swamp Thing? Werewolf by Night, you could argue they were, but that was on Disney+. Plus. I didn't have to get out of my house to go see a weird, uh, uh, an out there film. No pun intended, Andrew. For the, you're the only one that gets it. But I didn't have to go out of my house for that. So I'm, I'm curious if people are going to be interested in a Swamp Thing movie. I'm curious too. Like he is a deep cut character um, in DC lore. Totally James Gunn's type of character though. Very much so. Uh, Whenever he does show up, like I really don't know much about him and I'm like a DC guy and I still don't know much about him, but he's supposed to be pretty powerful, like God level powerful. As far as I know, all I know is Alan Moore wrote some of his comics back in the day and they were, Award winning and people love them because he changed he changed his origin. Yeah, he's the one that changed his origin. Yeah. To uh, make it more, it's a great origin. Like the the Alan Moore origin is fantastic. I think it would make a great film, a great tragic film. But I don't know how it, it I just don't know if it suits modern audiences. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. And well maybe something is going to build up to it in this. Uh, gods and monsters story maybe something's going to build up to it to make it uh, a thing that we're curious about maybe just like man thing that we saw last october maybe we're going to meet swamp thing Mm -hmm. before we see him in his own movie uh maybe we're going to have a reason to want to find out what his deal is uh i'm the only time i've ever come across him in my travels through a comic was uh in the green lantern story bright as day which was when all the green lantern color rings just kind of went all over the place and a bunch of dc characters got them and like scarecrow got a yellow ring and it was all nuts and they were like the only way we're going to beat this is and like there was a the, the black rings created zombies and they're were, they were like okay if the black rings are death the only way we're going to beat them is with white rings of life but every color ring james needed a sort of godlike being to represent the power that was in them and for the white rings that was swamp thing uh and i couldn't explain to you how it worked or what it means but he was in this giant story that tied together a lot of stuff he was uh the deus ex machina be all end all that saved the day and helped the good guys win i believe there was a show like a cw show a few years ago that like I don't even think it went past the first episode. I don't know if it was a pilot or if they put it to air and it just like fizzled out after like two, three episodes. I remember that. That was something that happened. Uh, it looked brutal. If I'm, I might be making this up, but I th- I vaguely remember that it was brutal. It, was, it lasted, I think, a second longer than the Aquaman show hmm. that they tried to do. By the way, the only true Aquaman, Jason Momoa, is Vince from Entourage. At least that's what Vince would like you to believe. And James and James Cameron, who needs a hit right now. <laughs> yeah, he really <laughs> does. I love even on that show, twenty something years ago, they're like, "This movie's going to make a billion dollars." Is James Cameron? I look Swamp Thing. I think it has a lot of potential. I think it could. I think it honestly, 
could be something special and unique. I loved Werewolf by Night. I thought that was like that as well. I love the old monster movies. I used to, like I say this all the time, I used to run home from school and watch like The Return of the Invisible Man and Abbott and Costello and the Universal Monsters and things like that. Like I used to love those old, the old Universal Monster movies. I thought they were a lot of fun. I love that they kind of bring into the foray. It's James Gunn's thing. James Mangold, no idea what he's going to bring to the table on this. Uh, if it'll even happen because of Star Star Wars or if this Star Wars won't happen because of this, who knows? But I'm very intrigued on Swamp Thing. I hope, yeah, maybe they, they introduce them earlier on in one of the other things. Maybe it's one of the animated stuff, which still wouldn't make any sense. You got to bring him in like Superman or something for people to be like, I want to watch a movie with Swamp Thing. Uh, but I'm all in. But also if the trailer is good enough, I think people are going to flock to the movies anyway. So maybe there's nothing to worry about with with uh, Swamp Thing, or maybe there's everything to worry about. And superhero fatigue is a thing, Andrew, and it's happening fast. 